Hi, thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. Please, before you continue to watch this video, try and subscribe to my YouTube channel for taking my time to create this video. So today I'll be discussing how to use the Windows Remote Assistance in Windows 10. So mind you, in we have two options. We have the Windows Remote Desktop and we also have the Windows Remote Assistance. So with the Windows Remote Assistance, you can actually send email and send someone an invitation to actually assist you if you have a problem. So you can send that invitation using email address or you can as well send it using um, a file. So, for example, to be able to use the remote um, assistance, first of all, you need to make sure that in your control panel system under go to advanced system settings here in remote, you will need to make sure that um, the allow remote assistance connection to this computer is actually checked. So if you uncheck this, so which means that someone will not be able to assist you um, with this computer. So what I need to do is, so I need to go to my start menu here and just tap remote. You can see we have the option remote desktop connection, but I'm looking for remote assistance actually, which is the remote assistance. So I'm going to invite someone to connect to your PC, to your PC and help you or offer to help. So just click this. So we have two options here. It says invite someone you trust to help you or help someone who has invited you. So I want to invite someone I trust to actually help me to solve a problem. Probably I have a problem with my computer and I don't know how to solve that problem. So probably, please make sure you trust someone before you allow someone to take over your computer and assist you so that they don't install a malware on your device. So I'm going to say invite someone you trust. So we have two options here. Either I'm going to save this file as an attachment and send it to the person through a webmail if I don't have Outlook Outlook on my in my in, on my device or if I have Outlook on my device I'm, I'm going to use an use email to send an invitation so it's starting my mail so here I'm going to actually send here you can see the invitation script that will be sent to this user so this file will be sent to the user so I'm going to look for send it to Simon James to actually um, assist me using remote assistance. So I'm going to send this. So here we have um, a password. Say, tell your helper the connection password. So you can as well send this password via email, or you can just tell the person to write the password down. So I have a second device here, which I'm going to be using for Simon. And you can see Simon just received an email from Kelvin from Kelvin to actually assist him to resolve a problem. So what I need to do is, you need to open this file. Just double click on the file and click open. So it's saying that um, enter the password to connect to the remote computer. So what I need to do is, I will need to copy this password. Let me just copy this password from here. Copy the password and then paste it here. And then click OK. You can see um, Kelvin will be actually requested to actually confirm that he wants to allow Simon to take over his computer. So I'm going to click yes. So if I click no, the actually the connection will be disconnected. So here you can see that I'm seeing his connection. But mind you, I still can't do anything on Kelvin's computer. You can see that um, I cannot clear the start menu. So what I need to do is this. Here, if you look at the top right here, we have the option to actually request control so i will need to actually request control to control kelvin's computer so i'm going to hit the request control button so let me go back to kelvin's computer and here you can see allow kelvin to respond to user's account control prompt so let me just click yes and if i go back again to simon's computer now i can control kelvin computer here so let me just try to open a file let me just open um, Excel on Kelvin's computer. So let me go back to Kelvin's computer. Here you can see that Excel is open. So I can try to just close it from here. And I go back to Kelvin's computer. You can see that Excel is closed. So here, that is how you actually connect using the remote assistant. So what Kelvin can actually do, Kelvin can stop sharing. Or I can decide to just say, okay, I want to just, uh, I want to disconnect the connection 
and you can see the connection has been disconnected from Kelvin's computer. So um, you don't have the option now right now to actually reconnect again. So what you need to do if you want to reconnect, you will need to start this file all over again and enter the password which will grant you access to connect to Kelvin's computer. So that is how you connect using the remote assistance to um, offer someone's help or to actually request someone to help you as well. My name is Kelvin Johnson. Please, if you think this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video. You can as well share my video if you think this video can be of any help to someone else. And don't forget to leave any comments and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. So subscribe to my channel for taking my time to create this video and I will be also encouraged to create more IT related video. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.